the uh well uh let's see what is best place to ask some interview you know we'll go into admin room why not go in the special room don't tell doc we were in here i'll tell doc we were in here oh the dark why is here he around he's around he comes in and out very quickly leslie did you come in here Um, yes, yeah, sorry, I was just in my head for a second. Oh, okay. Um, what do I, you want me to be in there by this bush? Yeah, yeah, you can stand, oh, you meant the plant, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so, okay. Uh, so what do you prefer to be called? Uh, obviously, if you get the job here, we're going to give you some sort of nickname, but, uh, for interview purposes. Uh, you could just call me, uh, Dixie. All right, Dixie. So uh, first off, um, I don't know if Jeff told you, uh, but I need to know if you have any issues with um, body fluids, uh, horrible smells, uh, visuals, decaying flesh. Do you have any issues with having to observe any of that and or having to touch, smell, or possibly taste any of those things? No, I don't have a problem with that. I grew up on a farm, so... Saw a lot of that sort of stuff with uh, all the animals and that. Okay, that's very good. Uh, another question, and I think you might have answered this maybe on beach or you brought it up, but uh, is your mother also your sister? Uh, well, I'm not sure, but uh, I thought it was just my mama, but uh, people started telling me that uh, my mama's my sister and... Uh, I think they're right, because uh, some people say I'm a little bit uh, special, like that Forrest Gump. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you know what love is, right? Is that is that what Forrest says, I think? Oh, do you mean like Officer Love? Yeah, I've met him. He's a fine piece of ass. Yeah, we, we don't. You know, he used to be one of us. We don't really like Officer Love. All but, right. Uh, know, well, in that case, uh, I don't like him I, a I, either. Oh, okay. Good. Good. This is good to know. Yeah, we need to know. You know, if if somebody on EMS says, "Hey, I hate that guy," we need to know. Like, are you just going to hate him too? We need to know this. I'll do anything you want, doctor. I just need a job. Need the money. Want to help? All right. Uh, next question. Also, Leslie, if you have any questions, feel free to chime in. Uh, next question. If someone gives you an elephant, but you can't sell it or give it away, what would you do with it? Uh, I don't know if I should say. Leslie, is that the acceptable answer or? Um, I'm not quite sure. I, I want to know whether he's, what he's going to do with the elephant. I'm kind of invested in the story. Well, I'd probably, uh, at first I'd keep it as a pet, you know, I'd feed it and uh i try to get it another elephant that it could uh make with and have a little elephant family in my backyard and then uh i'd probably uh shoot it when it got too old and probably cook it and eat it oh yeah you know he's a he's a man that kind of thinks long term that's we don't have a lot of that around here leslie but might as well make a note of that yeah i'll put long long term animal abuser you know how do you speaking of animals speaking of elephant parts and stuff like that uh you know this hospital is known for having licensing and ability to do cutting edge and experimental surgeries using unorthodox and organic and animalistic parts uh for surgery how do you feel about using animal parts or unorthodox apparatuses in surgery to replace parts so why do you mean like replacing someone's head with a like a monkey's head, something like that. Yeah, like example is, uh, I think uh, the other day we replaced a man's leg. Uh, he had no muscle left in legs, so we, re we replaced it with a slinky toy. Uh, we replaced <laughs> uh, someone's, uh, I think we had uh, Hi, uh, one police officer. He what's Just interviewing to be an MS. He has gorilla nuts instead of... Uh, because he lost his nuts in a horrible accident, so now he has one gorilla nut. Yeah. Testicle. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I've got no problem with that. Uh, in fact, that uh, sounds pretty good. I might put myself in. 
I mean, I need some bigger balls to go with uh, Dick's enormous, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're always happy to kind of, you know, do what we can for each other here at the hospital. Um, personal thoughts on garden gnomes at all? Uh, garden gnomes? Uh, I saw a guy, uh, he was going into the jewelry store earlier, and uh, he had a, he looked like a garden gnome. He had this mask on, uh, but uh, don't have any problems with uh, garden gnomes, as long as you give them names, look after them. All right. Did you happen to give him a name as he was coming out of bank or in bank? Uh, no. I just called him uh, Mr. Gnome. Well, I didn't call him anything. It looked like he was uh, up to no good, and Dixie likes to stay out of trouble. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, how many cows are in Canada? Uh, I'd say about 376,000. Oh, he's a farmer. Jot that down. That might actually be the real answer. Yeah, I feel like he would have this intuition that would uh, let him know that for sure. Yeah, my family used to import a lot of cows from Canada, so I uh, got my finger on the pulse there. See, that was a medical term, sir. I mean, ma'am. Yeah. Oh, it's all right. People call me sir often. Um, would you rather fight a hundred duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? Oh, wow. Well, horses are some pretty good eating. So uh, probably the uh, 100 uh, duck-sized horses. I'll get the shit out of them. It's fair. You would have, you know, you'd have a lot. It'd be a lot of work. Yeah, like I, that, could, uh, uh, I could helicopter yeah. them with my thing. You know, chop the heads right off. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Jump. Uh, okay, so, um, what else we got? Um, how would you solve problems if you were from Mars? Well, the first, first thing I'd uh, sort out on Mars is I'd make some form of irrigation. So uh, you could grow plant life, so we could uh, eventually live on Mars. So uh, I'd grow some plants, and that would create oxygen, create an atmosphere. And that's the, how I'd start solving the problems. I'd start at the bottom. All right. That's, hey, that sounds like a sound thing. Um, I know you mentioned the movie Brokeback Mountain. Yeah. Um, what is that your favorite film? Yeah, it's one of my favorites. I feel uh, it mirrors my life a bit. I, uh, I wasn't sure if uh, that movie was written about me. That's fair. Sometimes we can all relate to movies at all. Leslie, do you have any questions? Yeah, what is the longest word that you spell um, eating a can of alphagettis? Uh, I won't spell uh, di disestablishmentarianism. Oh wow. And you, well, you fit all that on a spoon? That's a lot. Yeah, yeah it, was a, it was a big can, like an industrial can. And if you want to know what the word means, it's a uh, that I believe that the uh, the church and the state should be uh, separate from one another. So I'm a disestablishment tyrannist. Oh my goodness, that's like a hundred points in Scrabble. That's yeah, that's a lot. Um, if we gave you fifty thousand dollars to start your own business, what kind of business would you start here in the city? Oh, it'd probably be uh, it'd probably like being offer fr uh, offering free health care and advice on uh you know, how to look after animals and farming, stuff like that, and also do my own operations and surgery. How to pay myself through medical school. There you go. There you go. That's, uh, that's very interesting. Leslie, do you got any more? Yeah. Um, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Seven. Oh, my. All right. Seven. He got it right. Seven. Jesus. All right. Uh, what do you think is by far the most deadliest fruit? Oh, uh, well, I don't know if you've heard of a special bean. It's called, uh, it's called a uh, ricin bean. It's actually a fruit, uh, and that can kill you. Uh, there's a, a story about a, 
a Bulgarian with an umbrella, and they put it on the A end, and uh, they stabbed this guy, and he died with no no uh, no cause of death a few days later. Oh, wow. I did not know that. This is good to know. Oh, my goodness. You always have to be aware of these things. You know, speaking of death and killing somebody, there are a lot of things in this room around you and stuff. If you had to uh, fight Leslie to the death uh, immediately, oh what would you use as your weapon? Uh, probably use my thing, put a blade on it, and uh, start whim uh, windmilling his ass. Okay, yeah, there's some scissors here. So maybe, maybe you can put some scissors on the end of it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever seen uh, like a cowboy with a lasso? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, be a bit like that. Okay. Uh, can you please spell diverticulitis? Uh, D I V A R A R L I T U A S. Close enough. Uh, Isn't that what uh, found Brad Lesnar had? I think I think so. I think so. Yeah, he had to have part of his uh, large intestine removed, I think. Got you. What would you do if you opened the freezer and you found a penguin? Oh, I love penguins. Like the little chocolate bars. I'd uh, open it up and uh, I'd probably uh, put it up Lesnar's ass and then eat it. Oh, oh I, I meant a live penguin. Is it still the same answer if it's a live penguin? Oh, no. If it was a penguin, uh, I'd raise it as my pet, and uh, I'd, I'd make them race other penguins, and then uh, I'd probably get them to race to this song. I got this fourth thing. Oh, there you go. Like a mop. Good. I think uh, probably the one heard that. Oh, hey, Doc, how's it going? She's having a little interview here. Uh, oh. I couldn't even see that. <laughs> oh, you got Antonelli here. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how's it going? How are you doing? Hey, I'm walking here. I'm walking here. <laughs> here, let me uh, make him feel a little better. I'll step over his head. <laughs> I'm just uh, cleaning the floor. Yeah, apparently. Doc is uh, having issues here. <laughs> yeah, as long as Tony's got a face, you've got a seat, Doctor. It's true, yeah. I, I feel like I'm not short on seat, uh, seating in this city. <laughs> um, okay, last final questions. Uh, how would you describe the color red to a blind person? Oh, wow. Uh... Is this like a blind person who's never seen before? Or is this a yeah. blind person who's became blind? Seen, nope, they've never seen before in their entire life. Death. You would describe it as death? All right. Yeah, yeah. I have uh, used to play a lot of video games, and when you got killed, the, the screen would go all red. Oh, okay. All right. That's, a, that's an interesting association. Uh, last two questions. Do you have any more, Leslie? Um, yeah, if she sells seashells by the seashore, how many shells is she selling? Well, I don't know that. You don't know that either. Uh, well, I was hoping you would know, because I need to find... Because I like, I like seashells. Well, maybe ask that uh, Sophia at the bean machine, or see her down the mm -hmm. beach, or doing a bit of fishing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, she might know. I'll ask her how many show, so seashells she sells. By the seashore? By the seashore, yeah. That's the one. Uh, last two questions. Uh, if you had a debut album, like music album, what would the name of it be? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, and what outfit would you wear on the album cover? I'd probably be wearing like assless chaps, like leather ones, and uh, like a cowboy hat with some uh, leather straps and uh, like leather braces. You know what I mean, Leslie? Uh, and I'd probably call it. Uh, I don't know what I call it. Hang on. 
I'd probably call it something like Geyser Safari, something like that. It uh be aimed towards the uh the gay community. Yeah, you know. You know, you gotta get to represent, you know. The everybody needs representation. Yeah, well I'm actually bisexual, but uh I think there's a big market in the gay community. And it'd be like a, oh, yeah. a country album. It's almost a bit homophobic, but uh, I'm trying to bring that back. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, and the last question I've got is, uh, how much money did the residents of Dallas, Texas spend on gasoline in 2008? Uh, you know what? I went to the UK once and the price for gas there it was so expensive. It's really cheap in uh, Texas. I'd probably say, but they're all fat there, so they don't walk anywhere. So I'd probably say that you spend about five thousand dollars a year. That's very that's very fair. Uh, is that a, is it, you have any questions left, Leslie? You good? We're good. Uh, yeah, let me just devour the sand real quick. All right. All right. You know what? Uh, you know some of it, most of your answers were all right. Uh, you know there are a couple. Leslie will agree. A couple that you know raise a few questions. But I think overall, uh, I think we can say we're going to give you a shot. All right. Thank you, doctor. Yeah. So we're going to, we've got uh, Doc Valentine here. I think he's in surgery. So if you'll wait up at the reception, Leslie will take you up there. And uh, Leslie, if you want to go ahead and get his uniform uh, with the high vis, remember he gets no decals, no steth. Yeah. You get to choose his shoes. He has high vis. Oh my goodness. And, um, and then 